Hey everyone, welcome to another LEGO Fan video. I'm your host LEGO Fan and I do fun LEGO videos. I have 10 steps per video as well as some fun Ben 10 videos. I am sorry for the time lapse. I have been very busy during my fall semester of my sophomore year in college. And so I had no time to film any videos. So the one that you're currently going to be seeing in like a little bit from when I'm recording this is recorded in the summer. This one that I'm doing right now is recorded sometime in the, is recorded in the winter. So yeah, there's a big time jump. But I did get two new Lego sets that I think you guys would enjoy. I got a baby Groot set. <laughs> and I also got a Venom set. So these two will be I will be building after this one. I'm probably gonna start with Venom and then go to Baby Groot. Mostly because Baby Groot's eyes are very, very creepy and I don't want that staring at me when I sleep. In the meantime, we're gonna finish up Lego ISS. I'm also you're probably also going to be seeing a Ben 10 video coming out soon. Because I just I am almost done with season one of Alien Force. I have about three episodes left, which are Benighted, Plumber's Helpers, and X equals Ben plus two. Yay, I'm going to start listing all of Alien X's powers. For those of you who are not Ben 10 fans, Alien X is considered the most powerful, powerful alien. Not, um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll get started with, with... Step number 13. So in step number 13, you're going to be building this, which requires a 2x6 by by ramp with a little 2x2 two two section on top, as well as a gray 2x3, a 1x2 with a little tag piece, and a 1x2 with a 1x2 um, going upwards on it. So, like I said, you're going to be building this. What you're going to do is you're going to put the 2x3 as a base with a the 1x2 with the 1x2 going upwards on its left side. So, you're going to end up looking, it's going to end up looking something like this. With the 2x2 section hanging off, attach the ramp. So, it's going to end up looking like this. And then, you're going to attach this piece on the little 1x2 section that's now its front. So, I am just going to put my phone down for a little bit so that I can attach that. And it's going to end up looking like this. Now, you're going to flip it to this side here. So, there's a little less space here, but we're going to attach them on either end of this of this side of the base. So one and two. Make sure these pieces that, that are in the front are facing upwards, otherwise you won't be able to attach them. Onto the other side, I had to essentially rebuild this because I stopped filming accidentally and well then two pieces that we got to put on, I had to pretty much disassemble the entire thing and rebuild it because these two pieces were being stubborn pains in the butt. Anyways, you're going to take these two stubborn pieces. Um, they're 2x2 two two ramps with a 1x2 on the top, as well as two 1x4s with a 1x2 section. So we're going to attach these ones first. They go right in the center. So you might have to do a little force in here. Not not like real force, but you know what I mean. So one of them goes here, with another one going right in front of it. And then attach these two pieces on either end. So one and two. So it should end up looking like this. 
Now, we are going to go ahead and get our next set of pieces, which are two 2x3s two and a 1x2 grill. What you're going to do is attach the 1x2 grill right in the back of these 1x4 flats that we just attached. You're going to be stubborn too. There we go. So it ends up looking like that. And these two by th and these three two by threes are going to be going lengthwise uh, along the bottom here. So we got one, two, and don't worry about the shaking of it. It's just because these pieces here are not fully attached yet. So that's how it's going to look, okay? So now that you got those pieces attached, you're going to go ahead and grab two 2x4s, black in color, of course. This is a little piece that I'm just going to call a bench because I don't know what else to call it. And a black 1x1. One what you're going to do with the one by one is just attaching this little gap that you see right there. I feel like that was done because they forgot that there was a little gap and they're like, oh shoot, we gotta cover it. So they're just like, well, here we go. Let's just cover it with this little tiny one by one. So now it looks complete. <laughs> and now... These pieces are going to go right here, so this little area, and this little area. This will essentially officially connect the pieces that we attached in the first step of this video to the rest of the base. So one and two. There you go. Just like that. Now we're going to attach this piece, and we're going to attach it right in the front. Right there, just like that. Now, of course, we don't have a label for this yet until this step, which is going to require a 2x2 two two with this little piece in the back. And, of course, the label piece. This is very unique. Do not lose this piece under any circumstances. And it's a 4x6 with the International Space Station label. What you're going to do is flip that piece over and attach this piece with the little thingy going upwards in the top center. So it should end up looking like this. Now I'm going to need two hands for this, but you're going to essentially put this piece and connect it to this one. It shouldn't be too difficult because they're naturally connected, but it's still hard to do with just one hand. So it's going to end up looking like this. Now we are going to go ahead and put this aside for now. And get out our tried and true 1x16 with the 15 holes. As well as one of the black axle pieces. So, one of the hollow tubes, like you see here. And these two pieces that are the smallest Lego pieces I've ever dealt with. And pieces I don't like dealing with. So, they look like this. What we're going to do is, in the center, so in the eighth hole from the right, or from the left, you're going to go ahead and attach the black piece. And the part that stick it out should be facing forward compared to the blue pieces, which should be facing backwards. And you're going to go one over from the two over from the black piece that you just attached and attach the blue one. And they and these should be facing backwards. So it should look like this. Okay. 
Now we're going to take it those blue pieces again only they're a bit bigger now and we're going to attach them so these two pieces and these are going to attach with the long ways facing towards the facing forward in the two holes that we left empty so right next to the black So it's going to end up looking like this. Okay? Now, this is where I accidentally stopped my video. We're going to take these two pieces. They're like little hollow hammers almost. And what you're going to do is right next to the little blue piece, you're going to attach them sideways. But unfortunately, they don't like going sideways. So, they don't like going in, period, actually. So, while a little stubborn, you should eventually get them in, and they should end up looking like this, okay? Ooh, you can see, you can actually see the little imprint that I made on my finger there. So... It's going to end up looking like this now. We're going to take another one of these big long pieces. And this is going to go on right in the front. And it should line up. If it doesn't line up, you attached it wrong. So it should look like this. Okay. And now, we're going to take one of the shorter ones. It is a 1x4 with three holes. And an another set of those two pieces that we had trouble attaching before. So the hollow piece. Okay? And this piece is going to go on right in the center area here. Just like this. Okay, and on either end of it, we're going to attach those two annoying little pieces that I really hate attaching. Oh, now you guys decide to attach. So now these pieces actually were a little easier to attach, and they should end up looking like this. Now with those annoying pieces out of the way, we are going to take a 2x3, 4 1x2s with a little ramp attachment. So, we're going to take 4 of those. We're also going to need 2 of the long benches. So these pieces here, they're flat, long flat benches. They are a 1x3. Four or one by I think it looks like a one by four, but I'm thinking it's a one by three bench. So they look like that. Two of them, as well as two of the rounded one by twos. So these pieces here. What we're going to do is on either end, we're going to attach the one by the rounded one by two on either end of this structure that we built here. So one. And two. Just like that. And now we're going to go ahead and attach the, these pieces. So the one by two with the ramp attachment. And they are going to go facing forward towards the center. Right, right next to the one by, routed one by two. Like this. So one. And two. And then on the other side as well. So one. And two. Just like this. Now in the center we're going to have the one by three. Right in the direct center and it's going vertical. Okay. Not horizontal. Like that. 
and on either end of it facing towards the end so end end we gotta attach the flat benches so it is a one by three so they should be facing towards the ramps and it's gonna end up looking like this okay now normally this would be where I stop as it's 10 steps but I like completing two pages I don't like stopping in the middle of the page so what we're going to do and we're not going to finish this little thing here in this video is we're going to go ahead and attach a 1x2 grill two, 1 2x2 two two flat as well as two one by two two by twos so these two by twos are going to go on the ends so one and two just like that and the two by two flat is going to go in the center in the back so it should look like that and the grill goes right in the front so it should end up looking like this. Now, take four raised one by twos with a little hole in it. And these are gonna go on the ends. So two on each side. And they should be going horizontal, not vertical. So it ends up looking like this. Okay. Now just take two two by fours. Two by twos, I mean. Sorry. And put them right on top. So one. And two. And that will be all for today. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube algorithm stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. When we'll finally finish up this space that we have here. And move on into the Lego ISS itself. I'll see you guys then. So long.